are you wondering what are the new amazing features of 40 OS version 7? Let's have a quick review. We will compare version 7.0 with the older version which is 6.2.8. For the version 7, the first thing that will catch your eye is the new tab added at the top. And at the bottom, you can see the 40 net logo and the running version which is 7.0. Next is on the previous versions. Mostly, you will see the monitor feature which is very useful. You can check the routing monitor. DHCP monitor, IPsec monitor, SSL VPN monitor, etc. When you go back to version 7, they removed the monitor feature. Also one thing I noticed is the device inventory, this is very useful for checking the connected devices. If you go back to version 7, you have the user and authentication feature but the device inventory is not present. To enable those features, go to dashboard, click on the plus sign to add monitor. In this window, you can see all the available features you can add. You can add the DHCP monitor. Routing monitor. SSL VPN monitor and device inventory. DHCP monitor to check DHCP devices, under routing monitor to easily check the running routes and at the top right you can specify what routes you want to check, SSL VPN monitor to check the SSL VPN users which we don't have. And lastly the device inventory to check the current devices connected. You also have two option to check for hardware vendor and software OS. Next is we will check the network interfaces, right click on the interface and we have new feature to integrate interface. You can check the available option which is to migrate to interface, migrate to zone and migrate to SD1. We will test to migrate to interface, next and you will have two options, under select an existing interface it will show you the available interface to add. Under create an interface, you will have three options type which is aggregate, software switch and redundant. We will test the first option to add to the existing interface. You can see it's been added to LAN 2. We will now check the DNS feature. Let's try to change the primary and secondary server but don't apply it first. Notice that there is new feature which is API review, click on it and you will see the changes we just did. You can also directly edit in CLI from here, it's very convenient. Next is the SD1, notice that they merged the SD1 zones, SD1 rules and the performance SLAs in one window. If you compare it to the older versions, they are in different window. Next is the traffic shaping, notice that they combine the traffic shapers, traffic shaping policies and traffic shaping profiles in one window. If you check the previous version they are also in different windows. Next is under security we have this new feature which is video filter, you can filter YouTube videos by channel ID for a more granular override of a single channel, user, or video. The video filter profile is currently supported in proxy-based policies and requires SSL deep inspection. Create a new profile name, under YouTube channel override list create new. Input the channel ID. You have some options to allow, monitor, and block. You can now apply the profile to your policy. You have to set it to policy-based. Under video filter apply the new created profile. Under SSL inspection, choose deep inspection. OK to apply. Next is the settings, notice the default them is jade, from the previous version it's green. If you expand the themes, notice that the green theme has been removed. In my opinion the green is better but we have this new attractive themes. If you scroll down to the bottom, you will notice the disk settings, you can set it as log disk or for one optimization. Well, that's all for today and I hope you learned something from this video, 
feel free to leave your comments and suggestions below. What are your thoughts about this release? If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more videos. Thank you and see you in the next video.